Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Nothing Phone 2. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 600 bucks. I repeat, 600 bucks. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got white and dark gray. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick for the display. You got a 6.7 inch LTPO AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2412. Now that's 394 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass for protection. It's IP54 splash resistant. You got HDR10 plus up to 1600 nits brightness and a variable refresh rate from one to 120 Hertz. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now, you got 8 or 12 gigs of RAM, 128, 256, or 512 gigs of storage. No micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now, it's running Android 13 with the Nothing OS skin on top. Now, you got a 4,700 milliamp battery that features 45 watt fast charge. That means you could charge this phone from zero to 100% in 55 minutes. Now you also got 15 watt wireless charge and five watt reverse wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle and a 50 megapixel ultra wide, and you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, and the best part about this phone, the Glyph interface. Now you're also gonna get three years of updates and four years of security patches. All right, so all of that for starting at 600 bucks, let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Now, this is the Nothing Phone 1. And if you watch my videos, when I did my phone awards, this won the award for the most innovative phone from last year, the Glyph interface. I love the transparent design. And of course, y'all know I like RGB lights. Anything that lights up is a go in my book. This was a dope phone. Now, introducing the Nothing Phone 2. Now, as you can see by the box, there's no charger. All right, Samsung, Google, Apple, nothing. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Now, this is, uh, let's see, we're gonna unpeel this. Okay, plastic-free packing. All right, shout out to the environment. Okay, let's see what you get inside now. We're gonna do this correctly. Little print on this, I like that. Okay, nothing. Nice and clean. That's one thing I like about this company, nice and clean. And on a side note, shout out to Carl Pie, all right, with the big middle finger to OnePlus. This is how you do it. 600 bucks for a flagship phone. That's what, that's what OnePlus used to be, okay? Now OnePlus is like your fancy friend who got a new job. Now they can't go to Applebee's anymore. No, okay? Shout out to nothing. This is how you do it. 600 bucks. Now that's the minimum gigage, minimum storage version. All right, so inside, let's see, a little drop test. You're gonna get your charging cable. This is USB Type-C, the USB Type-C shoes, inspect that for quality, okay? SIM ejection tool. Now, if you look at this, I like unique SIM ejection tools. This one kind of has a transparent look to it. Okay, real sleek, let's kind of leave that right there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't wanna lose that. Okay, inside you got your usual books and shit, plug them and follow them, okay? No nothing troll stickers, and is what it is. And here's your device. Okay. Okay, now this is the white color. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! Smells like a problem, okay? It's a serious problem right now for the Google fanboys. The only thing that can stop me from liking this phone more than the Pixel 7 as the best mid-range phone of the year is the camera. We're gonna have to do some camera testing, but so far, just based on the looks, woo! Now, I'm gonna say this. I was reading a lot of online rumors, you know, you know how we do it, us tech nerds, all of the spec leaks and all of the renders, and some of the renders had 
the sides more rounded, kind of like an old iPhone. I am so glad that that was just a false render because this is the, the uh, build quality that I love. Now here's nothing phone one. Let's do a quick side by side. Let's see the phone two, a tad bit taller. Okay, about the same width. But the thing that I loved about the nothing phone was that build quality. You see the flat sides, flat panel on the front, flat panel on the back, minimalistic camera design. I am feeling this one. I am feeling this so far. So let's get and power this up and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's check the weight of this phone. Now I got my old school scale from my pre-YouTube days. Okay, if you know, you know. We're gonna set it to grams. Now, for the Nothing Phone 1, 195 grams. Nothing Phone 2, 205 grams. So it's a little bit heavier. Now, just for argument's sake, iPhone 14 Pro Max, 252 grams. So both of these phones have 6.7 inch displays, but look at the difference in the weight. All right, so now let's talk about the build quality. Gorilla Glass for protection. You got recycled aluminum frame and it's IP54 splash resistant. So if you plan on going deep sea diving, 20,000 leagues under the sea, this ain't the phone for you. Now for me, I don't really care. IP54 is good enough, but IP68 should be the standard on any phone that's over 500 bucks, but it is what it is. All right, 600 bucks, we're not gonna really complain too much. But as far as the build quality, I absolutely love it. Now, if y'all watch my Xiaomi 13 Ultra review, I told y'all well, one of the things that I hate about cell phones in 2023 is all of the curved displays, all of the curved panels. I don't like that, okay? And one of the things that people love about iPhones is the build quality. When you got a phone that has this square kind of feel to it, it's non-slippery, all right? It's easy to hold in your hand. And it just has a more premium feel to it. Now, we can argue this in the comments if y'all want. I know some of y'all love the curved displays, but I'm so sick and tired of it. This is the perfect build quality for me. The flat panel, easy to type on, no accidental touches, okay? And it just looks so sleek with the transparent back, the glyph interface, minimalistic style cameras. Now I know somebody's gonna say, oh, you know, that looks like a fake ass iPhone. All right, shout out to the Apple Mafia. I've been waiting to say this since last year. Shout out to the Apple Mafia, okay? Anytime I rocked my nothing phone around my Apple Mafia hitmen, they always said, oh, that looks like a fake ass iPhone 10. Ah, oh, it looks like a fake ass iPhone. And you know what my reply was? Can your fake ass iPhone do this though? I right, can your iPhone do this? And they say, what's this? Let me show you what this is. Right, you want to know what this is? Let me show you. Can your iPhone do this? Let's go to glyphs, right? This is how you do it, all right? When you're hanging out with your iPhone friends and they say, oh, look at that fake ass iPhone out here. Yeah, can your iPhone do this? And you just go like this. Now, every time I hung out with somebody with an iPhone and we had this same interaction and they said, oh, what case is that? I need that for my iPhone. Nah, <clears throat> this is how you reply. Nah, this is not a case. Glyph, bitch. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that iPhone. Glyph, bitch. That's what I always say, okay? And they say, what, what, what you mean, glyph? This is the glyph interface, okay? This is what separates this from your iPhone. You see the lights on the back? Now, even my hardcore Apple Mafia hitmen, when I showed them this, they had to, they had to bow down and show a little bit of respect, okay? You might say it looks like an old school iPhone, but come on, the glyph interface, bro. Bro, the glyphs, oh, look, let me do that again. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, I, I hit the power button, of course. All right, but make sure you practice this before you try to shit on somebody. Look at this. Now we're gonna talk more about the glyph interface in a minute. Mm. All right, if you're a tech nerd, I know your nipples is like this right now, because mine is like this, I'm telling you. All right, anyway, let's get focused. All right, so the build quality on this, excellent. Now you do have always on display, okay, very Google-ish with the nine photos, but you got the time, date, battery percentage, and your notifications. Now a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. Next, you got on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Let's do three in a row. Bang, we'll do one more, okay. 
Bong. Okay, we got to do three in a row. One, two. Now, I just set this up real quick. Three. Of course, I usually like to set up multiple angles on one fingerprint to guarantee it's going to work a little bit faster. And of course, you got face unlock. Bong. Three in a row. That's the standard test. We got to do three. There it is. Now, let's not look at it. And then look at it. Bong. Okay. Excellent biometrics. Now, let me calm down. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be real with y'all. This is one of the phones that I've been waiting for all year. Okay. Just behind the glyph interface, the transparent back. I love new, unique kind of tech. And this is it right here. Okay. Now, I know last year, a lot of people was like, oh, you know, that phone is dope, but it's, it's not really a flagship quality phone. As, even though I love the lights in the back, it's not really flagship quality. Now we got the Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 flagship specs, bro. We just got to test out the camera. Now I'm going to do that in the next couple of days. The camera could be the only thing to hurt this phone. Now, if you notice, you do have some new widgets on your nothing skin, which is very stock Android-ish, very Google-ish, okay? Let's see. Um, I believe you can move the uh, G-Bar. That was one mistake I made from the first video. You can go to settings and move the G-Bar. But like I said, I'm going to play with this in great detail for the next couple of days. Okay, so here's your home screen. Let's go to uh, let's go to toggles. Okay, look at you. you got two big giant toggles on the top. I like that. <laughs> okay, I like that. Bro, let me tell you something too. I'm, I'm in a great mood. I was watching the Karate Kid part one yesterday. Remember um, the part when, he, when Mr. Miyagi took Daniel to the gym and he was like, yo, <laughs> he was like, I got to ask you one more favor. Leave the kid alone. Remember what the Cobra Kai instructor said, told her? <laughs> he was like, yo, push a little bastard. But I like that. I like that. I've been saying that for the last 30 years. Right? When, when somebody says something slick to me, I'd be like, all right, yeah, that, you know, I'm like, you're a sneaky little fuck. But I like that. I like that. I said that to say this. The two big <laughs> two big toggles, I like that. Let's go. I, this, this is going to be a train wreck, but we're having fun. All right, here's all your quick toggles. You got torch, wallet, device connections. Let's see what else we got on deck. Of course, you got your glyph. When you're ready to stunt on somebody, make sure you make sure you have easy access to your glyph button. Okay, when you're ready to stunt. Let's see, mic camera access, of course, Google 13. Let's see, you got focus mode, live caption, PC file transfer, auto Shazam. Okay, but shoes, shoes, look at shoes tail going wild here. All right, so you got all your basic quick toggles that you're gonna need. Let's go over to settings. Okay, again, let's see, let's go to apps. Anything to see here? Uh, nothing really there, okay. Let's go to, okay, we're gonna save glyph interface for last. Battery. Okay, 4,700 milliamps, 45 watt fast charge. Okay, you got battery share, also known as power share. Now look at that. When you're using that, let's see. Um, let's see. Do we get a fancy animation? Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Hold on, let, 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 let's turn it on and do that again. All right, let's see. Use battery share. Okay, stop. No, no, no. 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 Leave that all the way at max. Okay, battery share. Activate it. You see the little light? I like that. I like. All right, now I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep saying I like that for the rest of the video. <laughs> I'm one of those dudes that if I make a joke, I'm running that shit into the ground, bro. I'm sorry. I need maximum laughage. All right, let's go. All right, so battery. So you got adaptive battery. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we turn that on. We gotta get this phone a few days to adjust to the battery. Let's see. Um, sleep. Uh, okay, battery percentage. Why not? I like to know exactly what percentage I got. Okay, storage. Now, this is the $700 version, okay? 256 gigs, 12 gigs of RAM. Even at 700 bucks, that price is right. right? That price is definitely right. Okay, let's see, uh, sound and vibration. Okay, dual stereo speakers. Okay, flip to glyph. Okay, vibration, phone, notification sound. Let's see. Uh, anything we need to see here? No, 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 no. Now I'm going through this live with y'all, so bear with me. Anything else? Let's go to display. Okay, let's see. Dark theme, status bar. Okay, show internet speed. Why not? Always show icon when vibrate mode. Yeah, why not? I, I, I like having everything on. Why not? Okay, colors. Now, you know this is a UK company, the way they spell colors and meter, which kind of threw me off. All right, we spell colors a little bit different. This is colors, all right? Colors, let's see what colors they got. Okay, so we got a live, standard. I like to drop mine's a little bit cool. Matter of fact, not, no, that, that, I went to warm. You see, cool is usually on the left, all right? I like to have mine's ice cold. No, let's do a, let's do a live 
and cold, yeah? Okay, so you got a nightlight, display rush. Uh, I said display rush. Display refresh rate. I, I made I just made a new word. I did, let me check the display rush. I can actually start saying that. Hold up, let me get a little wipe down. Let's check the display rush. <laughs> you got dynamic. Okay, high and standard. Now dynamic, remember this is the LTPO AMOLED panel. That means you get the variable refresh rate from minimum hertage, which is one, all the way to 120. Now I can't say maximum hertage because Motorola's out here with 165, so it is what it is. There's a lot of hertage though. All right, so we'll do high, why not? Let's see, HDR, display, auto rotate. Okay, leave all that on. Okay, lock screen and always on display. Okay, now you do have some lock screen shortcuts. Let's see, bottom right, Google Wallet. No, bottom right, okay, I'll do camera for bottom right. And bottom left, we'll do torch. I use the flashlight a lot. Okay, let's see, uh, quick look. Okay, weather schedule, add text, show on lock screen. Okay, wait for notifications. Okay, looks good. Let's go to customization, wallpapers and styles. Okay, now this is, again, very Google-ish. All right, if you use the pixel, it's gonna look very familiar to you. Okay, let's see. Let's see what kind of wallpapers they got. We got some nothing. Okay, the classic nothing theme. I like, you know, I like this one. I think I'm going to rock with this one. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, that's a classic right there. Okay, let's see anything else. Okay, that was, um. let's see. Wallpapers in style. All right. Let's see anything else from nothing. That's good. Okay, they, they have these trees look kind of good. The black and white theme instead of the red. Okay, maybe I should switch to the black and white. Let's try something different. I'm acting like I'm not making a live YouTube video. All right, we'll do that later. Okay, let's see anything else. Live wallpapers. Okay, mine's is still downloading right now. Okay, so you got basic colors and you got your dark theme. That's the wallpapers to stop. Wallpaper scrolling. Home screen layout. Okay, app label. Eh, why not? Search bar. I like to see a lot of stuff going on. Icon pack. You got nothing. Color and you can add your own. Okay, accessibility, if you're hearing or visually impaired, everything is on deck. Okay, security and privacy, system updates, you got your biometrics, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, screen lock, app security, updates, okay, nothing really see there. Passwords and accounts, digital well-being, okay, monitor your scumbaggery online. Experimental features, okay, connect to Tesla, <laughs> okay, for all y'all banana heads riding around with them electric cars, okay, AirPod support, mm, show AirPods and batteries, okay, I'm going to try that, enhanced uh, touch response, okay, we'll play with all that stuff later, okay, not too heavy with the experimental features, let's see what uh, kind of gestures we got, okay, system navigation, open camera quickly, okay, that's your world star hip hop button, Hold power for assistant, flip to glyph. Okay, anything else? Let's see, uh, da, da, da. game mode. Okay, you do have a little game in suite. Backup, multiple users, reset options. Okay, so that's pretty much it, let's go to about. Let's just check the specs, okay. 50, 50, 32, we said that correctly. Eight generation one, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 storage. Okay, 6.7, okay, multiple IMEs. You know what I'm saying? Looks good. Now, we got to take it back to the glyph. Let's go to glyph, because this is what y'all all came to see. Okay, where is that? Okay, glyph interface. Now, let me show y'all something real quick. All right, so I just wanted to pull up this little sheet to let y'all know what's different with the glyph interface. Now, you're getting 33 individually addressable zones. You got 10 new ringtones and notification sounds, 10 classic ringtones and notification sounds. You got the glyph timer the Glyph Essential Notifications, the Volume Indicator, the Glyph Composer, which I was complaining about with the original Nothing Phone, let you make your own Glyph sounds. You got the Glyph Progress, Glyph Torch, Auto Brightness, Flip the Glyph, the Charging Meter, Bedtime Schedule, Google Assistant Feedback, and Reverse Charging Glyph that y'all already seen. Now, just for argument's sake, let's pull out the original Nothing Phone. Okay, now let's look at the difference in the uh, Glyph interface suite. Okay, so it looks a little bit different. Charging meter, flip the Glyph, bedtime schedule. Okay, so let's see what's new here. Okay, ringtones. Okay, so now, mine's just still updating because I noticed when I went to ringtones on my original, you see I got 
10 nothing one ringtones and 10 nothing two ringtones. Right now, I only got 10 nothing two ringtones. So where's my nothing one ringtones? Let's find out. But in the meantime, all right, let's go through the different ones. So you got crossing. Okay, I like that. Crossing. Ripple. Now, if you notice, you see the back is a little bit different. Let's click on one of these old ones. You see the back on this one was one big light. All right, one big glyph. Now the glyph is actually broken up. Let's do pulse. You see, so now you got more lights. And y'all know me, I like more lights. All right, so that's pulse. Wings. Now these are ringtones. So keep in mind, when you got your phone on the table and it starts ringing, this is what it's gonna look like. And let me tell you this, all right, let me say this. When you sitting around somewhere with somebody who never seen that, you sitting at a dinner table, you sitting at work in the office, wherever you at, you at the park, chilling at your man's house. When this goes off and somebody never seen that, they're gonna be, they're gonna be impressed. All right? They're gonna be impressed and they're gonna think it's a phone case, okay? But you gotta remember, glyph, bitch. All right, it's not a phone case. Okay, get that iPhone shit out of here. Your iPhone is not doing this. And if we're gonna get into a big iPhone war, you should, you, I, you, you still can't even do split screen multitasking, all right? Come on. Let's get back to it. Sticks. Okay, this is Sticks ringtone. I like that. Wizard. Okay, wizard. Hammer. Okay, now remember, when it's dark, it's gonna look even better. What's this one called? CLWB. I actually like that one, hold up. Oh, hold on a second, I'm getting a phone call. Yeah, all right, okay, okay, so let's see. Um, all right, so Dolphin was good dope too. All right, so that's the nothing two ringtones. Let's go to notifications. Okay, so we got new notification sounds, oil. Now this is what's gonna look like on the back of the phone. That's just on the bottom, okay, simple. Okay, now it shows you what it's gonna look like on the back. These are just notification sounds, all right? So you don't want it to be too dramatic if you get a lot of notifications. You don't want to keep having this going off all day long. I like that one. Okay. Hum. Oh, that one is cool too. Okay. Flap. All right. Maximum flappage. All right. I like that. Sharp. Okay. Cuckoo. <laughs> I almost said something else. <laughs> I almost said something else. <laughs> All right, rude. I think I like rude too. Now imagine you're getting 100 notifications a day. You don't want it to be too crazy. This one is uh, croak. I like that too. Okay. Now keep in mind, the Glyph interface now supports third party apps. So you know, when that Glyph composer comes out, People are gonna have all kind of musical, uh, you know, musical renditions. Y'all remember back in the days with the two-way pages? I got uh, young, young banana heads don't know nothing about that. But when they started making, we used to call it the MIDI, the MIDI ringtones. Those are gonna be heavy on this phone. Okay, so you do have auto brightness, but I'm gonna leave mine on maximum brightness because I'm trying to be the maximum douchebag. You can turn the lights on and off. You got flip the glyph. All right, so you can silence on demand. The glyph timer. Okay, so if you set a timer, this will actually count down. That's pretty dope. Let's see the maximum time you could do on this. Oh, you could go as you can go as long as you. Okay, sixty minutes I think is the max. All right, sixty minutes is the max. And then you just put your phone down and rock out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> why am I such a Why am I such a fucking dweeb? All right, let's see. Mute alarms. Okay. Matter of fact, we'll, I'll leave that on because I just want to see what happens later. Okay, so you got your volume indicator. Let's see. Okay, well, let's see. Um, I gotta play with that. 
Display your current environment with Glyphrate. Okay. I'll play with that later. Let's see. Google Assistant. Charging meter. Okay. Let's go ahead and um plug something in. Why not? Let's see. Okay. Now, what's going on here? Oh, I got the timer still going. I like that. I like that. Okay. Where's the charging light? Let's um let's exit out of this timer. Display charging. Okay, when charging with a cable. Okay, I'm charging with a cable. Let's go ahead and um turn this turn this uh timer off. Okay. That's off. Now let's turn this off. Let's try that again. Okay, plug in the phone. There it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Problem solving on the fly. Okay, there it is. That was a nice little animation, though. And it's going to actually increase. Because I think I got about 50% battery right now. Okay, so let's see. Now, look, this is what I meant. Meter. Like, we spell meter different in the States. When I first read this, I was like, what's that? <laughs> you got your bedtime schedule. Okay, so the glyph interface. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. I like the widgets. So far, the phone is running nice and smooth, though. And it's giving me hardcore pixel vibes. All right, now let's go to settings. Matter of fact, I'll play with that later. I'll play with that later. Let's take a look at the camera. Okay, so we got slow motion. We got video, 4K, 60 frames per second, 1080p from the front. Let's see, we could do wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. Photo, we got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. Portrait mode, okay, you can change your bokeh effect. Okay. Time lapse, panorama, macro, expert. Okay, so cameras look simple, simple enough. Expert mode. Okay, cameras look simple enough. We're gonna we're gonna test this out today, though. We're gonna take some good photos and videos. Let's see. Do I got anything? Take a quick shot. Okay, let's just. Okay, okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's do a quick portrait. Now this is not real camera test. I'm just point and shoot just to get a get, get a quick vibe. Yeah, we're gonna have fun with this camera. All right, so when I do the full review in a couple of days, we'll do a full camera test. But as of right now, it looks good. All right, everything looks good. Exit out of that. Anything else we need to see here? Now you see I'm downloading all my apps. Let's see how much I got left. Uh, setup. Oh, setup complete. 210 apps. That's my usual setup. All right. Now, I'm not going to make this video take too long, even though it's already probably 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and wipe it down and give it a quick overall ranking. So far, fresh out of the box, I'm giving this phone a major, major, major go. I love it. I loved last year's version, okay? And I love this one. Now, I did speak a little incorrectly at the beginning of the video when I said the best mid-range phone is the Google Pixel 7. I meant that as far as us in the USA. Now, if you a global gangster, I would say the best mid-range phone is the Xiaomi 13 Pro. But this right here, okay? At 600 bucks for 128 gigs, this is in the runnings. Here's my scale, okay? For me, anything between 500 and 700 bucks, that's a mid-range phone. A flagship phone, not just for pricing, I'm not talking about performance, and all, just for pricing. Anything over 700 bucks for me is flagship phone territory. When you buy a flagship Xiaomi, Samsung, Apple, Oppo, even the Google, those phones are gonna run you over seven, eight, nine, a thousand bucks easy. So I consider mid-range phones anything between five and 700 bucks. And right now you got the Pixel 7 and the 7A, you got the Xiaomi 13 and the 13 Pro, you got the nothing phone. Now, I did the Honor phone the other day. No dual speakers. Okay, no dual speakers. You got to get that shit out of here immediately. This is in the run-ins right here for the best mid-range phone. But me personally, okay, I love innovation. Okay, and this is what I'm talking about. Innovation, the Glyph interface. How could you say that's not innovation? Now, we, let, 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 let me show you. Again, when you want to stun on somebody, just go hit Glyph real quick. Hit ringtones. And hit them like that real quick. Hit them like that. How could you not like this as far as innovation? Oh, and one more thing I want to mention. Right now, it's actually vibrating at the same time. The heptics on this, all right? The vibration engine is super strong. Same thing with last year's version. Maximum vibrations on this, 
Now, you're going to like this. When you're getting that phone call or that notification. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway. Oh, look at the biometrics, too. Anyway, so this is the Nothing Phone 2. I'm going to come back. Give me probably right now, maybe two or three days. I'll come back and do a full review. I'm not going to make y'all wait forever on this one because um, it's basically... You know, we just really got to test out the camera. We got to test out the battery. Other than that, it's a basic clean stock Android phone. So I'm not going to make y'all wait too long. Also, we got the, oh, matter of fact, why not? Let's do a little, um, let's do a little test real quick. Hold up. Now, I wanted to show y'all how dope this is going to look when you get in a phone call and it's dark. Now, I'm sitting in complete darkness. I'm going to call myself. Watch how the glyph lights look. Check that out. Look at that. That's pretty dope. Now I'm gonna turn the lights on a little bit more. Okay. Let's hang up and do that one more time. All right, so we'll call. All right, so say you're just chilling somewhere, you know, you got your phone on the table. Somebody got their bullshit iPhone right there. Both of y'all getting a phone call. Look how yours gonna look. I can't wait to make my own ringtones. And keep in mind, you can set different ringtones for different people. So if I had the actual sound off and I seen this pattern, I'd know for sure exactly who's calling. Scumbag mode on expert. Now there's one more dope feature I wanna talk about, the Glyph Torch. Now this is another way you can shit on your iPhone friends without having to go to ringtones. And if you just wanna showcase somebody how the back of the phone looks. Watch this. So you're going to open up your phone, go to toggles, hit torch. Now this is going to be a regular LED flashlight from your camera. But watch this. If you hold down torch, you get glyph torch. And now it lights up the whole back of the phone. And you can even leave it on just like this. So if you really want to showcase the back, right, the glyph interface, you want to shit on one of your iPhone friends, just turn on your glyph torch and say, your phone can't do this. This is pretty dope. All right, so this is the Nothing Phone 2, a nice little update from the Nothing Phone 1. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one, and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover when I do the full review, but I think y'all know me by now. I'm gonna tear it apart from top to bottom. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Street Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys are laughing. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss and Mountain. Deuce. Spock wanna be him up. Alright, so let's try this in real time. And remember, you gotta practice this at home if you wanna be a true boss. So say you're hanging out with one of your banana head iPhone friends. Y'all having a little conversation. You put your nothing phone two on the table and they say, oh, that's a cute little Android phone, but it kind of looks like a fake ass iPhone. Here's what you do. You say, yeah, it does look like an iPhone, but can your iPhone do this? You gotta be quick with it. Can your iPhone do this? And remember, they're gonna say, oh, that's a nice case. Where do I get that case for my iPhone? Do they make that? Here's what you say. This is not a case. Glyph, bitch. Just that simple. 